welcome to this episode of Citizen Meta 1. Today we're going to be talking about how to get professional results from your Rococo mocap suit into Unreal Engine and onto your MetaHuman. So what we're going to be doing here is going over the filtering process here. So I've done this little recording here where I'm taking out a samurai sword and that was the raw mocap and I've just turned on the foot IK um, filter. So what this is going to do is that every time a foot hits the ground, it's not going to move very much. It's going to kind of lock in place. So that's something that's really important to help foot sliding. And on top of that, uh, I'm going to be moving these little bars around and this indicates when the left foot is on the ground and there shouldn't be spaces in there because that foot's always there. And you have to hit reprocess and you'll see that the left foot is seated really nicely now. Watching back again, there's a little bit of a foot slide right there, and you can see it. It's this little gap in the locomotion filter here. So we're just gonna connect that together, hit uh, reprocess, and when you basically get the locomotion 2.0 foot filter correct, and then do foot IK and knee locking and whatnot, you get a very nice clean animation like this that we're going to bring into Unreal Engine. So this is a very important part of the process. Make sure you're doing this. So uh, once I've retargeted my animation onto my MetaHuman here, this is what it looks like. And it's, uh, it's pretty good overall, you know? And we're going to then bake this onto a control rig. And I have added a sword onto his right hand and a sheath onto his hip. And you see that I've got a lot of work to do to make this all light up. So number one is to keep the left hand on the sheath. That's my art direction for this. And make sure the elbow and sh left shoulder don't look crazy. After that, um, typically when I switch to IK hands, the elbows go absolutely wild. So I typically clean those up uh, immediately. And you'll see that uh, I'm also going to be very painstakingly um, hand animating the sword going into the sheath and coming out. That's definitely the hardest part. And you'll see that, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a real process to line it up. There's really no secret sauce to this. If you're a games animator, you could possibly animate on a spline, but I honestly think that's a little bit harder than just sitting here and doing it. So that's the process. Welcome to animation cleanup. And um, here to get the hand to actually reach the sword, I had to retime the chest. And it's kind of interesting. The Rococo stuff doesn't affect um, the all, like most of the spine bones. Only some of the spine bones have rotation on them. So that's something I'm possibly going to try to fix in the retargeting process. Um, but I had to retime the head in that one. And here I'm trying to animate the sword going back in. And you see that it uh, takes a little bit of work. And uh, one of the fun parts that I don't think I did all that well actually is animate the actual path of the sword. Um, I'm trying to straighten it out, you know, but uh, I did what I could. So here is the final animation from the side here. Uh, I've also cleaned up the feet, which I didn't show that process, but it's pretty straightforward. And uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with it. The sword comes out. The wrist is in an absolutely insane position. So if I was to do this again, I would reposition the hand on the sword, which would mean I'd have to reanimate or at least adjust uh, quite a bit of it. And that's what this looks like with the final control rig animation on it. And here's a couple more angles uh, of the animation. You can see the wrist there is uh, kind of crazy, but um, that is fixable. And I think I would probably actually have him tilt the entire sword up. A little bit that would fix that and look a little bit more natural but anyway that is the process for getting professional uh, motion capture data onto your metahuman using rococo studio make sure you're doing the filters uh, do a clean retarget and then get ready for a lot of cleanup using control rig okay i'll see you on the next video peace